this your boy Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Pooh Shiesty. Now it looks like Pooh Shiesty then got caught up with the laws again. Yes, again. And this time it's in Florida. Again. Yes, Florida. Again. And Pooh Shiesty this time, it looks like he turned himself in to a, because of a situation that took place during Memorial Day weekend. Now, for those of you who don't know, Memorial Day weekend this year in Miami was super active. You had a situation that had been at a banquet hall that was crazy, that was tied to rap. Then you had the Pooh Shiesty situation. Now, these two situations kept getting, you know, convoluted and people kept uh, putting one in place of the other. Like, Pooh Shiesty situation was totally different, but it looks like, man, he's still being looked at by law enforcement because of something that he allegedly did that night. Now, we dropped a video and talked about the whole KOD thing, man. I got the video from when he was in there. I got the video from when, you know, the people who, who reacted, who worked there, and they locked the place down, all that. But before we get into the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about this poo shiesty situation, man. Now, the details about this are murky at best, man. We don't know anything. It's a bit hazy. You know, a lot of stories are floating out there on social media, and it's a lot of reposting going on. I see that, man. And nobody from Pooh Shicey's camp has officially reached out as of yet while I'm doing this video. That could, that'll could that obviously change in the future. I mean, Gucci Man hasn't said anything. Nobody said anything. But we do know that Pooh Shiesty was in, my, in Miami during Memorial Day weekend. And we do know there's stories floating around that he allegedly turned himself in because of a shooting that took place the night he was at King of Diamonds tearing that stage up. Now, I'm going to be using this report from an online news source, and they basically said this. The headline says, Pooh Shiesty turns himself in for recent Miami shooting. Now, it continues by saying Pooh Shiesty has reportedly surrendered to authorities over his alleged role in a recent shooting in Miami, Florida, according to the Shade Room. So they're basing their report off of the Shade Room. Or I, we're going to call it a story. A report is a little too solid, man. We don't have all the info, so let's see what it is. Now, they're basing this off the Shade Room, so take it with a grain of salt, even though the Shade Room be on their job, man. They be on it, so let's get to it. Now, it continues by saying, a week ago, the Gucci Man protege was involved in an incident in Miami, Florida, when somebody reportedly stole $40,000 from him. Stop right there. Now, we've seen the footage, and let's look at this clip right here. I'm going to just leave that on a loop. And basically, somebody, Pooh Shicey was rocking the stage, right? And DJ Academics also pointed this out. And when you see them kind of leaving the stage... His pockets were on fat, on swole. And then as you see him leaving the club, you see him looking like he's almost up in the tool. I'm not saying that was Pooh Shiesty up in the tool. I don't know if that was him or not. It looks like him. We'll say that. But then you see his pockets ain't as fat as they used to be when he was jumping around on stage. Now that leads you to believe that maybe something might have happened. You know what I mean? Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man, and I know you're enjoying this video, but make sure you go and you follow me on social media platforms like Instagram, and also go to my Twitter page and make sure you hit that follow button there so you can get the latest and greatest updates of when I'm dropping my videos. And man, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that like button, hit that like button so we can spread this video around, and we're trying to get 2,000 likes, so run them likes up. All right, but let's keep it a stack, man. If Pooh Shiesty was up in the tool and all that, and people believed that he did or whatnot, and then there was a shooting afterwards, and now he's turning himself into authorities, something obviously went down. Now, yes, there was a shooting incident. Something went crazy, and I played the video. Man, let's actually play the video right now without the sound because there's a lot of music in the back, and, you know, we got copyrights, but in this video, you can clearly see that the security is on high alert. They're already flashing people. They're looking at people or whatnot. You see the dancers in the back. They're stuck and they can't leave the dancing room. And they're saying that they're stuck in there. You see the security rushing out. And you see dude taking that money off the stage or whatnot. And you see Pooh Shiesty and them pushing through, man. You see them coming through. And then that's where it cuts to the other video where you see Pooh Shiesty with the mask on. Allegedly, man. I don't know if that was Pooh Shiesty or not. 
But then that's another cl uh, a view of the security pretty much up in the tools there. So trying to see what's going on. When this incident happened, I did get a lot of messages and I looked on social media and some of the dancers that worked at the club were on social media. And you know, you they could say that they're the dancers at the club or whatever, but I don't know why they would lie. And they were saying somebody from the security got hit. There's like a security guard hit got hit. You know what I mean? Now, this is like I said, this is not the same situation as the El Mula Banquet Hall where it was three people that have been, you know, that have lost their life. And now you have 20 people, you know, that were injured in that shooting. That was a whole different situation. And a lot of people were mixing those two things up. But something did happen definitely that night for the security to go crazy like that, for Pooh Shicey to push his way out of the club like that, allegedly. And it looks like, man, Pooh Shicey is going to meet that on the legal end, man. Whatever went down. I hate to see it for him because he's, on fire right now, man. He's killing it in the rap game. Now, the story continues by saying this. It says, the source that the Memphis rapper's attorney confirmed the news with them. So I guess they mean to say that the Source magazine confirmed that the Memphis rapper's attorney confirmed the news with them. You know what I mean? At the time of this publication, there's not a lot of information. However, the incident in question appears to stem from a recent nightclub appearance which ended in gunfire. Now, the nightclub appearance that we're talking about, obviously, is the King of Diamond nightclub appearance from that Memorial Day weekend. So it looks like Pooh Shiesty, man, he cannot stay out of trouble in Florida. Let's not forget, he was also wrapped up in the whole situation in October of 2020 for the Bay Harbor shooting. Now, the Bay Harbor situation was caught on tape, and you can allegedly see Pooh Shiesty up in that pole, he turned himself in for that situation, man. I, I know Pooh Shicey has a lot of fans in Florida and throughout the South, but it seems like he's got real bad luck when it comes to the Miami area and getting caught up in some type of legal situation, man. At some point, he's going to have to start charging them extra. I heard Fredo Bang just say something recently where he was like, man, in order for me to do a show back home, they got to charge me extra for my headaches. Man, Pooh Icy might have to start looking at Miami with that same type of outlook. You know what I mean? Because it seems like every time he goes to Florida, something wild happened. He also got arrested and missed a show one time and it was somewhere, I want to say it was like Gainesville or don't get me wrong, man. It was somewhere that wasn't Miami, that wasn't Orlando, that wasn't Jacksonville. It was somewhere else, man. And it'll come to me when it's not important. But this is wild to say the least. What do you guys think about this situation? Do you think that the Shade Room and all these other hip-hop publications, and not really hip-hop publications, they're really a gossip publication, the Shade Room, do you think that they got this wrong, or do you think that they're on target and that Pooh Shiesty probably did turn himself in? Because why in the world would anybody lie about that? Now, more information will obviously come out, and I can't wait to hear what it is, but you can bet, you can bet that if Pooh Shiesty got locked up this time, man, it's looking bad for the boy, man, because he already has pending cases. Now, I wish the best for Pooh Shicey. You know I'm on that Shicey gang. I'm all about that, man. I'm all about Pooh Shicey, big 30-day whole camp. But it seems like dude cannot stay out of trouble in Florida. Now, with that, what do you guys think? Do you think Pooh Shicey was, was caught out there bad and turned himself into law? Or do you think that people are just making this up, man? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content and we out of here. Peace.